So for the longest time, I haven't really had a good backup system or a media server. So what I'm going to be doing today is building a free NAS box. And that's going to allow me to put all my movies and everything on there, host it out with a Plex media server plugin, and also store all the rest of my files and everything on there and start doing nightly backups and all kinds of other stuff that you would need a server for. So I just want to go over the parts real quick, and then I'll probably be doing a time lapse of the entire build. All right, so the first thing, let's go over the processor. The processor is an Intel i7-5820K. Um, basically, I'm using this because I bought this when I thought my main computer, the processor, and that was up, and I just ended up holding on to it, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and use it for my server build. It's going to give me a lot of extra room for if I want to make this also an encoding box to where I can just encode all my videos and everything on it and not have to do that on my main computer. And I also have a Hyper 212 Evo to cool that. I'm not really going to be overclocking it but the Hyper 212 Evo is a pretty awesome cooler and it's also pretty cheap. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over is this RAM right here. I have the Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4. It's a 16 gig kit. Now I'm gonna be running FreeNAS on this and FreeNAS really likes its RAM. So I got 16 gigs here. Um, it's not ECC memory, which would be ideal for this. And it's basically because I couldn't really find a motherboard and the price range that I wanted to build the system on. So while we're talking about that, I got the Gigabyte X99 UD3P. Um, it's a pretty good motherboard. It's got everything I need on it except for the ECC memory support, which that kind of sucks. But the difference between this and a workstation board was actually a good bit. So I didn't want to go, like I said, I didn't want to overdo it with this. Um, the power supply that I have is the Corsair CX750M. I've had this uh, sitting around for a little while. I know it's a really good power supply, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in here instead of buying a completely brand new one. And actually where the main cost of this system came from is these five three terabyte Western Digital Reds. I uh, really wanted to go with Reds because they're really good to run in RAID, which is what I'm going to be doing with this. In other words, they're made to basically run 24-7. Now, I mean, I'm not going to be ridiculously heavy using this. Like I said, it's going to be doing some encoding and it's going to host a Plex server and stuff like that. Now the next thing might be a little bit odd to some people considering all the other hardware that I have right here, but this is a R9 270X that I got off of eBay for a hundred bucks. Uh, the reason why I didn't go with something extremely high end and just went with something used is because this processor does not have onboard graphics. And once you set up a free NAS box, you can access everything through a web UI. So I'm not even going to be really using this graphics card. But uh, it was a pretty good deal that I couldn't pass up. Honestly, I could have went with something even cheaper. And everything for this build will be going in this Fractal Defiant R4. I got the R4 because I really didn't need any of the newer features with the R5. Uh, I got this pretty cheap too. And the reason why I went with the R4 is because this is the model that has the sound dampening foam on it. That way this isn't extremely loud, so that'll make that nice. But uh, so far, I think that's all the explanation that it needs for right now. Let's go ahead and start building it. Around me, so that no one will know 
Separating my conscience My good side, let's go Stop me from loathing, my life of lying is done.